Hi, this is Lynette Robinson and I have something to show you. If you are not that savvy on laundry, we're going to sort laundry today. And I have got my hamper right here going and I've got my piles going a little bit. And so what we're going to do, and then here's my washer and I've got it open because the first thing I do is whites it when I'm wa on wash day and the last thing I do is towels and so the towels as the last thing will clean out anything that might taint the whites so anyway I'm gonna just start here and I'm going to go to my hamper and here's a towel and I'm going to put it in with towels here is an, a, a kind of a dark knit and so I'm, I put all my knits together here is a knit here is a towel I'm gonna put the towels together and my white things Underwears, white shirts, and things like that are going to go in the in the washer. And then pants, towels, they go separately, dark uh, knits, le pants, Levi's, any sort of pants go in the same pile. And then we're putting our whites in the laundry or in right directly. Whenever we take off our socks, we mate them, and they go in the hamper mated, so they always end up in the same load, and they're, we don't lose them. I can't tell you the last time I lost a pair of socks. So the socks are going, they're knit. Here's another pair of socks. They're going in with the knits. The whites, whoops, lost it with my hands. The whites are going in the washer. Knits. Oh, here's some... some towel things. I mean, any towel, anything that's got a towel or a terry um, all goes into the same thing. And I'll tell you why. Because towels will tend to um, actually kind of wear on your knit things. And, um, and so you don't want your clothes to wear out. Um, again, I'm just continuing in my hamper to unload knits, pants, and then I just washed the liner and so I'm not going to wash it today but a lot of times I throw it in with my whites. So I'm just going to put that aside. Then I'm going to get into my laundry and you can use whatever kind of regular laundry detergent you want. I many Tide is my favorite but I also, we belong to Sam's Club and we buy theirs too. So I'm going to um, close the door on my washer and your washer may vary just go to your your user's manual I go to for whites I put it on a whites setting because it has an extra rinse you can put it on normal if your washer doesn't have all these specialized settings just the regular um, and that my washer does sense how big the load is and so I don't set that but this would be a medium to large load you do not want to overload your washer because it will make it to where it has a hard time getting things cleaned. So I've got it on whites. I've got the soap in there. Um, for, my, for, for my whites, I do an extra rinse, and I really don't do anything else. If, if things are extra stinky and they're white, I'll put two cap, just two caps full, which is about a sixteenth or an eighth of a cup of bleach. In, in with it and I usually put it in the drawer so that it diffuses it. If you've got a top loading washer and you don't have a, a bleach dispenser, you wanna make sure that your the, 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 the tub is filled with water before you add your bleach because it can, it can be a problem. So I'm just going to start this. For whites, for most everything, I, I set it for cold, cold, um, cold wash, cold rinse and normal, um, um, agitation and a high spin so anyway and then then this because I've ax I've selected the whites it's an extra rinse and so I'm just gonna start that now when I take my things out of the washer I hang up anything that that nor if you're gonna hang it up in your closet it gets hung up on a hanger and not dried by hand I'll sometimes will shake it on the hanger so that it will dry but typically stuff like that will never need to be ironed it won't be wrinkly it will look nice and that too um, take the things that you know out of your washer as soon as it's finished washing put it in your dryer let it dry I've got some things in my dryer I actually did some pillows this morning and so I've got them in there and then I will set them out so they can completely dry all the way through um, 
when things are done in the dryer, take them out immediately. If you, my, my washer tells me that I've got an hour, that looks backwards, but I've got an hour and 25 minutes. It looks like 251 on here, at least what I'm looking at. Anyway, I've got an hour and 25 minutes. I am going to set my timer for an hour and 25 minutes so that I won't forget and I will come down and I will switch out my laundry. So then I can get all of these loads done in just a few hours and I can continue doing other things. So anyway, this is our laundry, laundry lesson today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Lynette Robinson and um, you have a great day.